Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. <laughs> well, you guys know that I love to begin my mornings with a fruit smoothie. Hardly a day goes by where I don't have a big giant banana smoothie. And I know from your comments that many of you guys like to have a big fruit smoothie as well. So I was a bit shocked and delighted to find that our good friend, Dr. Travis Stork from The Doctor's TV Show, likes to have a smoothie as well. In fact, he has a recipe video uh, demonstrating his weight, what he calls his weight loss smoothie. So let's check this out. Berries. Berries are great, loaded with antioxidants, brain boosters, we call them brain berries. Berries, wise choice. I nearly always add them in with my bananas too. So let's see, maybe this is gonna be a nice high carb breakfast smoothie. Okay. Yeah. I'm also going to have you add a half a cup of yogurt. Hmm, well now it's taking a downhill turn. This is this oh, one, so, the heavy one. This, and the yogurt is great because yogurt is loaded with protein, calcium, and then last but not least, that's a half a tablespoon of nut butter. So that's almond butter there. So go ahead almond and butter. scoop that in there, Regis. Yeah. Almond butter, huh? Almond butter. Wow. All right, so we put in the fat from the yogurt, put in the fat from the nuts. At least that's a, a, a vegan fat. Hopefully we're done, though, adding in fats and or animal products. Do we put the and milk then, into? And then a little bit just to get enough in there so that it can form into a liquid. But the whole idea here is that this is a smoothie that takes about 30 seconds to make. And blend okay. it together. Go ahead. Regis. All right, service up, Rachel. So this is something then, you know, I, I love these smoothies because they're great for on the go. They're loaded Rachel, with protein, fiber, healthy fats. These are good for your heart. Really? Dairy is good for the heart? They are good for your muscles, Give they're good for your tip. mind. Yeah, the carbs and the berries are good for our minds, but milk is good for our minds somehow? And most importantly, yes. Regis, yes. Yeah. This, is good. this is good for the waist too. Really? This, will oh, keep yeah. this is nice good for lean. your waist. Two foods in a study of 120,000 yeah. people over the course of decades. Two foods most associated with people staying lean? Yeah. Nuts and yogurt. Really? Yeah, and you know, with the- I never knew that. Yeah, because the nuts, I mean, it's got fiber, it's got good healthy fats that Cheers. keep us full. Cheers. 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 Yeah, he loves to refer to this study, which blew up on the online media sites like Huffington Post. Anytime there's a study that comes out that shows, hey, it's okay to eat butter, it's okay to eat bacon, you know, high fat foods are good for you. Those are the ones that get picked up, not the studies that show, oh yeah, eating a diet high in animal protein causes um, heart attack, stroke, diabetes. No, those get ignored. Um, and in fact, all that study showed was that people who ate yogurt tended to weigh less. It didn't show that if you ate yogurt, that caused you to lose weight. No, it just showed maybe you made other sensible lifestyle choices. Not to say that eating yogurt is one, but maybe you eat less, you exercise a little bit more than people who don't eat yogurt. So the fact that he just keeps coming back to the study and over again is pointless. It proves absolutely nothing. So let's take a closer look though at this weight loss smoothie. Well, I went to chronometer.com, entered in all those ingredients, and found some interesting things I wanna share with you. First of all, this is a high fat meal, bar none guys. Over 43% of its calories come from fat. It's f high fat. I mean, to put that in perspective, you know, my morning smoothies have, you know, maybe seven or 8% calories from fat. It's a low fat meal. Well. How are you gonna not get fat by having so much fat in your weight loss smoothie? Well, there's only one way to do it. And let's take a look at the total calories. Look at this, guys. Nothing, like what, less than 270 calories, less than three bananas total. Well, now I know why the doctors freaked out when I told them that I have 12 bananas each morning in my breakfast smoothie. Well, like in the morning, I'll have a smoothie. Easy dozen bananas in there. Mm -hmm. A dozen? A dozen. Oh, yeah. Easy. So, I mean, you both look fit, but but a dozen yeah. bananas at yeah. 100 calories per banana yeah. is exactly. 1,200. You're starting with 1,200 yes. calories in that smoothie. Smashing it in. Plus, <laughs> look how thin. Yeah. And that's why he's so big on protein. As he said about the yogurt, it's full of protein. As you saw my prior Dr. Stork diet exposés. He, he believes that when you eat protein, it decreases our natural appetite feeling, our hunger feeling. It makes us want to eat less. Well, yeah, if I was eating a diet that was over 40% calories from fat, I'd want to eat less too or else I'd be huge. But when you eat a high carb, 
diet like ours, which is low in fat, you don't have to have a thousand calories day per day. You can have a thousand calories for a meal, no problem. So this is where their, their diets fall apart, guys. Calorie restriction. They all come down to calorie restriction for weight loss. I know where I stand on this. I'd rather have a high carb diet, eat in abundance, and shock the heck out of people when I tell them I have 1200 calories for breakfast and still pretty darn lean. So post your questions and comments down below here. Do you think this is a great idea to drink a 270 calorie smoothie every morning full of yogurt and milk so you can lose weight and be starving? But maybe you're not starving because you're having all that protein. Anyway, let me know what you think down there. And um, like this video, I guess that would be down there. And um, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so to get some more stuff here from me and Angie. So until next time, again, unlike Dr. Stork, keep it carb, guys, keep it carb. So I thought many of you would be intrigued to see what our friend, Dr. Smork, Smork. <laughs>